Alrighty, so here I am refereeing the finals of the medium heavy black belts at the CBJJF back in August. Um, let's see what happens here. Both these fellows had won their, I think they both won their opening match against the same guy by submission. I don't really recall, you know. I had uh, the one fellow there, Philippe, I'd refereed him quite a bit, so I kind of know what his game is. He's a big fan of standing wrist locks. The other guy is a student of Marcus Soros, who actually gave me my blue belt, like, 22 years ago. Anyway, Philippe pulls guard in the guy, and... Uh, which is fine, I'm sure, because the guys from Marcus Soros' team are very uh, Carlson Gracie, which is a very, you know, top-heavy style, you know. And some of the guys from Carlson Gracie, like Marilla Bustamante and a few other dudes, had good guards too, but, you know, if you pull guard on a, a guy from a Carlson Gracie team, you can expect he's not going to be so easy to sweep, you know. But, um... Plus, the conditioning those guys do is crazy. They do half an hour of burpees and push-ups every day. Oh, there's Philippe sweeping the guy. He's pretty good. The guy's like, I don't think so. I'm Carlson Gracie, you know? So, um, I was interested to see how this would, uh, you know, give him an advantage for almost coming on top. I mean, you know, to get an advantage for a sweep, you have to A, put the guy in his back, and then B, be over him for a second, you know? And Philippe, you know, he tipped him over and kind of came up a little bit. I don't know. I just warded him an advantage there, what the hell. That way if it goes to 0-0, zero, zero, I have something to... Well, it's not going to go to 0-0, zero, zero, you know. I have something to point out, given that, you know, give somebody a win. But uh, you can see both guys are in good shape. Not like me. <laughs> My chubby... You know, I have lost some weight, actually, recently. I have other videos of me being close to 220, and I'm looking kind of portly, but here I'm closer to 200, whatever. But anyway, you can see that... Um, the guy on top has pretty good base, and he's super relaxed, which is a good sign. I mean, hey, all black belts should be, you know. He's trying to find a way to op trying to find a way to open Philippe's guard, you know. But um, you know, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody pass Philippe's guard actually, and I've seen him fight quite a bit. So, and I've been a referee for a lot of those matches. But anyway, I am closely observing, just waiting to see what's going. Oh, he's trying an umaplata sweep, you know. And then the guy on the bottom, the guy from the Carlson Gracie team, a lot of them, man, you sweep them, but then, like, they're able to just turn you right over again, you know? They're like, I don't think so. They deny, oh, hell hold. That's the end of it. So I guess in, uh, the guy from the Carlson Gracie team, he was like, you didn't sweep me, and Philippe's like, all right, maybe I didn't, but I got your foot, friendo. So, so there you go, a nice toe hold. Philippe's fixing his belt, and, uh, you know, I chat with the guy. It's funny, I was chatting with him here, and uh, he remembered training with me like 20 years ago. So, you know. Anyway, Philippe heard his foot pop, the guy's like, ah, I'm fine, no problem, you know, no big deal. There you go, well done. And he wins gold.